Hello everybody, it's Frankie Day here. Okay, fellas, this is video number two for this uh, Tuesday. Um, the tip, the topic of uh, this video, is, of this video is going to be my entry for Mr. Warren Blanchard's uh, group build buddy build, and uh, I attribute to Mr. Warren Blanchard. And uh, I already got my entry all picked out and I think you'll like this very much. I know I like it very much. I know you all like it very much too. And uh, so far I haven't seen too, many, uh, too much of this on YouTube, although the model is still relatively still new in its release, but <clears throat> maybe not. I don't know. I haven't seen any model shells for, for a while, so uh, I'm not certain they still produce this anymore. But we're gonna get get to it right here, and we'll swing the camera around to yours to uh, to the entry. We're gonna be back to yours shortly here. Okay, guys, here it is. Here is my entry for Mr. Warren Blanchard's contribution uh, tribute build. This is my Airfix 148 scale English electric Canabera. The B2, B model, or, or the 20B62, BW6, or B26. Anyway, fellas, uh, this, I've never built this aircraft before, but I've built the aircraft similar on the America side, which is the Martin uh, B57. Now, to my understanding, the B57 was, was designed off the base of this here aircraft. Except the canopy on the B-57 is tandem. This right here is, is just, uh, you got pilot. You got a pilot down below and probably got a, bom a bomber and a navigator and radio operator, ordnance officer down below, which is, which is hidden. But the B-57 is almost similar to the English electric, Canabera. This is a good can. I've had this mustache for a long time. I've kind of walk around my stash pile, see if anything crashed, but everything's pretty well solid now. I don't think I'll have that problem anymore. <clears throat> Just all the weight from the boxes of different kits. All kits weigh differently, you know. And so you want to make sure you put the heavier kits down at the bottom and put the light ones on top. So you put the heavy ones on top and the light ones very soon. Crash, boom. So anyway, I got this out of my stash pile. And uh, I look at the kit, it seems like to me it's going to be a very enjoyable, a very smooth build to do. And uh, it was a good kit. I looked at it and I was really amazed that they made a 148 scale model of this. I think I've seen the 172nd scale version of this. And, uh, and the 172nd scale version is is uh, completely a, a different uh, different avenue compared to this. Uh, we have instructions, a good size instruction book. It's all it's uh, not glossy uh, glossy inlaid. It's more that's uh, just regular in typical Airfix construction kit instructions. And it's all in uh, French, Great Britain, uh, German, Spain, Spain. Most everything nowadays, guys, is bilingual, you know? And uh, so that's the way of it is nowadays. Right here, uh, you got the instructions of the uh, pilot. It even has a pilot here. It only has three of them. Okay, I'll see ya. I guess, guys, this kit here, I'm not too familiar. I've never built this before. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't know much of it. Not that much. But I do know that the Martin B-57 was built on off this design. And uh, so you got all your cockpit floors, uh, which is about three parts. You got the instrument uh, panel. Uh, you got your uh, cockpit for your pilot. You got three pilots. A, a Panzerman bill would probably about this very much. You got figures there, which I'll put in the kit. And looks like you got your Bombay right there. It looks like the Bombay in this thing is almost like that of the Martin Seamaster. I think it more or less uh, rotates. I'm not too sure. 
by looking at how it's how it's designed. I may be wrong, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, it's got the instructions, it's got the it shows you uh, the exploded views of the uh, engine SLs, the auxiliary fuel tanks, the engines, the intakes, the exhaust, everything, and the ailerons, the horizontal stabilizer, the realizer, the vertical stabilizer. Okay, that answers my questions. I was wrong on a bomb bait. So, again, exploded view of the complete assembly by itself. It shows you in number 26 how to join the stabilizer, elevators, and rudder. And uh, steps 27 all the way up to 29, it has the undercarriage assembly. So it looks pretty straightforward, very simple, not very many parts to the undercarriage, guys. And uh, the bomb bay doors uh, are optional, either have them open or closed. So they do give you an option there, which is good. You, you got plenty of time to make a decision. Either you can have army in it, to be shown, the bomb bay doors uh, open, or forget about the army and close them. And the next step here, which the fitting of the steps, is your armament. Like we were talking about a while ago, about the bombs they use. And uh, it shows you, gives you option of your armament to, to carry. You have external armament, you can have on it, or you can have internal. So it's all up to you, where, however you want to model this beautiful airplane. It's not like me, it's going to be a very joyous kit. Oh, good. It's got landing flaps, too, which are posable. Beautiful. I'm pretty well pleased with this so far. Okay, guys. Uh, I believe that there's 60 steps to this uh, assembly of this beautiful airplane. And they give you the color brochure right here. It tells you the color, gives you option. It's all, uh, it was like medium sea gray at the bottom or dark sea gray. I think it's medium sea gray. That's on top. You got uh, two, two uh, color, uh, color call out options. This aircraft here is a Canabera Mark II, number 10 Squadron, Royal Air Force, Canton, 1953. Uh, the overall top is uh, looks like a, a medium, a dark medium sea gray, and the other side is all satin black. And uh, not very much camo there, just two colors, guys. A lot of masking on the back side. Well, I was wrong, guys. I showed you much to know about this kid. I thought they would only give you a couple options, but I was wrong. I showed what I'd be doing. And option number two gives you a uh, dark sea gray with dark green or all the drab on top of for your, for your camo. And the Brigade Air Group, uh, Panama Argentine Air Force, 1982. Wow, they used that long. Very surprised. I thought you were just all Cold War. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, call out number two is uh, Sea Gray with dark sea, with dark green or or all the drab and a font and uh, wow, there's four call outs for this. Boy, it gets better all the time. Uh, here's the one I'm going to be doing right here. I'm going to be doing this right here for, for a Warren's uh, uh, tribute build. This is going to be uh, number uh, number uh, 213 213 Squadron of Bruggen, Royal Air Force, Germany, 1969. And lastly, in, in the color call out that is the same as the Argentine Air Force. Looks like an extra dark sea gray with a slate gray, I mean a slate gray or a dark a medium green. And it has the the, the, the humble call out, so I'm gonna go by the humble paints on this. 
So I had to go down to Smitty's Hobby Shop and venture into the Humbro line and see if I can find these colors. Looks like they're all pretty much on all call outs here. Same color. Now, okay guys, lastly is, uh, looks like Canadian Air Force, Royal Air, Australian Air Force, Pyongyang Bay, Vietnam. Oh, I've been there three times. I knew I seen these fly out there a few times. I thought I was seeing things. I thought they were big Martin B-57s, but these were actually, English, actually the, the Canberras. I'll be darned. Small world, no air. Anyway, this is the Royal Australian Air Force, stationed in Nam. And it looks like it's an extra dark sea gray or gunship gray. I don't know what kind of color it is. I gotta find out what color that is. So I will go down to the shop tomorrow and find out what it is to cure my curiosity. But anywho, I'm gonna be building this one right here. So I'm gonna be doing uh, call out number three. That's what I'm gonna be doing on um, uh, Mr. Warren. Blanchard's tribute build. You got modeler's notes here. Boy, guys, this dark monitor is hard to judge this thing with a monitor. You give you modeling notes here also. Here I'm talking about the plane. We're looking at the Isabella. Boy. Anyway, uh, instructions at the side. The decals. Uh, oh, they're down at the bottom. I figured they were down there somewhere. Decals are not bad. I looked at them, it's a big colossal sheet, as a matter of fact, the decal sheet's almost as big as the box. Now look how big that thing is, guys. This is the box here. Look how big those decals are. That's one big colossal sheet. So each one of these are uh, high-lined out to, to which version you're going to use. So, I'm going to be using uh, this one right here. Real Air Force. Nursing Air Force. The decals are uh, satisfactory. So far, they're not having me. I don't see any cracked on here. I had this kit for a long time, guys. At least 20 years, I think, to my knowledge, I've had this. Yep. So these are the decals that's used on this here kit. Put over here. It's molded in light gray plastic. It's a pretty good size airplane, 148 scale, guys. It's about, it's like that, about the size of the B-17 almost. And uh, it's a nice kit. It's gonna be a beautiful entry. The parts look pretty good. The plastic in this kit is a lot more different than the new Airfix tooling kit's got. Because the new Airfix tooling kits, it seems like me, I get the feeling that they feel like it's vinyl. More like a vinyl type plastic. This here is pretty good styrene. Yep. Here's a supplementary sheet of the instructions to give you here. I don't know what this is all about, but we're gonna we're all gonna find out here. Okay, this is a correction notice here. Right here in the sheet there's a correction for the uh, insulation of armament opposed to the plans. Well I'm not gonna have any external external armament in this one. I'm, it's going to be all inside the Bombay guys. The Bombay doors will be open. But I'm not going to use no external armor armament in this aircraft. Okay. That concludes my entry for Mr. Warren Blanchard's tribute build. And uh, Stu mentioned it on his uh, channel when I was tuned in and see what, what Stu's up to. and. He's doing very, very well, and uh, I hope he's feeling a lot better. Uh, his last video still wasn't feeling too good. Uh, come down with a seasonal flu or cold or something, and, and I hope he gets better. And um, the thing about it is I failed to 
the coffee hand is um, is how long this build's good for, and when does it start? Because right now I got two shaking down. I got the Isabella shaking down. I got Mr. Lamets, Mr. Mark Lamets measurement 410 Hornet uh, group build going, and uh, now I got this one going. So I'm gonna be pretty busy beaver for a while. And I'm going to have to make time for the Isabella so I can start working on these builds. Because I'd like to build these airplanes, guys, but this Isabella's got me into a... It's got me into a hard... between a rock and a hard spot that I want to uh, be able to uh, get done, which I think is a wise idea since I spent all this time on this thing and everything else. And... Uh, like I said on the on the last, on the video number thirteen, uh, about three weeks I think should be finished, and I guess now they're where I want to put her up and let her collect dust. I went down today to check to see if I could find a seamstress, so I couldn't find it. I went down to a fabric shop. I assume thought they did uh, uh, seamstress work there. They they said no, but they said we'll refer you to this lady right here. So I'm gonna give her a ring tomorrow. And uh, see what shake and see what kind of price quote that she can give me. If not, I'm gonna get my my old rear end down the Myers or Walmart. I'm gonna get me one of those Singer small battery powered sewing machines. I'll see if I can get my sewing uh, my sewing skills back together again. And I can do it myself. If I'm smart, I do it myself and do just that. Okay, that'll be that. That's a different avenue. Anyway, guys, uh, right now, uh, this is going to be my entry for uh, Mr. Warren Blatchard's tribute group and buddy build. And I'm very honored to do his build for him. He's a great fella, and, and uh, he's, he's helped me a lot. And he's got me that 124 scale Typhoon and everything, and, I, and uh, I'm very delighted. And I still got that in the box, and we'll get that group build shaking, it, shaking down pretty soon. Um, so I guess that's probably on the agenda right now pretty soon. I don't know when, but it's going to be coming up pretty soon to have that, uh, that, that uh, Airfix 124 scale buddy build going down. That's going to be an awesome god darn group build to say the least. On an awesome kit. Okay guys, this concludes um, my entry for Mr. Warren Blanchard's tribute build. And the next video will be probably either Friday or Saturday. Which will be on uh, on the Isabella. I should have all the shrouds all done and preparatory of, of uh, the yards, the insulation, the same, and the running rigging, and she's done. So am I. And I gotta hop on the Norsky Love and uh, fulfill my promise to Mr. Dave Mather. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start learning how to manage my build instead of spending too much time, like 10, 12, 15, 16 hours a day on our ship. I'm going to work so many hours on this and knock off and go hop on an airplane to break it up. That'd be a good idea. I think I'll do that. I got to get Mr. Martin Lamont's uh, 410 all, all done. So I got I got the final colors for that. So I'm going to probably be working out a couple days and get that thing finished and get started on the on the other one I did. That'd be it. So I don't know when uh, this tribute build is going to start and I don't know how long it's going to be for. I'm not too sure who's uh, I think Stu is, the, is, uh, is going to be uh, the, the master of ceremonies of this beautiful delightful build. And uh, so I think Stu probably can tell me what's going on. Okay uh, Time for you to sign off right now, guys. I'm gonna get hot in his belly, so I get those shrouds going. And uh, upload this video, and I hope you guys have a very beautiful and uh, joyous evening for this Tuesday. And um, build on your models, and keep the videos going, and please subscribe. And uh, I shall return. So, catch you this Saturday. Excellent day, Saturday, for the update Isabella. Okay, it's Becky Day signing off. We'll see you guys this Saturday. Bye, fellas. Take care, guys. God love you.